Introduction to Normal Distribution The normal distribution is the most important and widely used distribution in statistics. You have probably heard of it already, and you will hear much more about it here and in later chapters. The normal distribution is sometimes called the bell curve, although the tonal qualities of such a bell would be less than pleasing. The normal distribution is also called the Gaussian curve after the mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss. As you will see in the section on the history of the normal distribution, Although Gauss played an important role in hi its history, de Mouvier was the first to discover the normal distribution. Strictly speaking, it is not correct to talk about the normal distribution since there are many normal distributions. Normal distributions can differ in their means and in their standard deviations. The green, leftmost distribution, has a mean of negative 3 and a standard deviation of 0 0.5. The distribution in red, the middle distribution, has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. And the distribution in black, rightmost, has a mean of 2 and a standard deviation of 3. All three distributions are symmetric with relatively more values at the center of the distribution and relatively few in the tails. This is the formula for the density of the normal distribution which can be thought of as the height for the given value of the x-axis. The parameters mu and sigma are the mean and the standard deviation respectively and define the normal distribution. The symbol e is the base of the natural logarithm and pi is the constant. Since this is a non-mathematical treatment of statistics, do not worry if this expression confuses you. We will not be referring back to it in later sections. However, you will be using computer programs that make use of this formula implicitly. Listed here are three of the six features of normal distributions that are going to be illustrated in the remaining sections of this chapter. Normal distributions are symmetric around their mean. The mean, median, and mode of a normal distribution are equal. The area under the normal curve is equal to 1. Normal distributions are denser in the center and less dense in the tails. Normal distributions are defined by two parameters, the mean and the standard deviation. 68% of the area of a normal distribution is within one standard deviation of the mean.